Hi, it's Rune Fleet and this is course for navigators. I will try to talk about navigation, about work on board of the vessel in the simple way. And of course I will try to catch all things start from the join the vessel and the last step will be draft survey. So uh, in such a way I, I want to cover almost all levels of navigation and try to make this uh, part of the channel interesting for everybody. We will start from introduction. This course was developed for navigators of all levels. Our main purpose is refreshment of knowledge and preparing for interview in any green agency and of course rise up your level. So in this course it will be three main units, first steps during boarding, navigation and the last one draft survey. Uh, and we will start from the first steps during boarding the vessel. Uh, the points over here it's handover, check master list and your duties, familiarization with the vessel check your job description, beach familiarization and, of course, company policy. Uh, what we can say about handover? Um, as I said from the beginning, uh, the course, this course is for all levels of navigators, also for cadets and for the guys who like change their position from the a, B, deckhand, ordinary seaman, whatever, to and become navigators. So I um, start really from the simple things. And that's why uh, we start from the handover. Uh, it's really necessary to ask your guy whom you replace, leave uh, the main aspects of your future job, especially if you first time in your life joining the vessel. Uh, location of the main folders with the documents, paper or electronic on the computer, whatever. And uh, location of the logbooks, equipment, everything. Don't forget to ask everything until you have time for this one. Until this guy didn't leave the vessel. Uh, it's also a good idea to prepare something by yourself some small checklist uh, that you will never forget what to ask and of course ask the people about your job rest hours how it's going on what when when is your watch when is your main job hours overtime and so on so on and the next step it's of course check master list and your duties uh, the master list is really quite important thing on board. The rubber will be prescribed your duties during emergency situation. It's necessary to remember what to do and understand how to do and of course understand for what you, you need to do this one. If you will act as a robot just without thinking, it's also not the best way and you need to understand that in the emergency station on the vessel there are Nobody can help you except you and other crew members, so each person on board is really important in, in case of emergency. <coughs> That's why it's necessary to uh, pay, in, uh, pay attention to such things and as well after master list, uh, important to check the locations of nearest firefighting equipment, life-saving appliances, emergency exits and and so on. Uh, the next step is general familiarization with the vessel. Of course, it's like a new location here for for you if you first time over there. And you, in normal companies, I mean, in all companies for the moment, it's possible to. Uh, it's not possible. It's compulsory that one of the officers is responsible for the familiarization of on signers and. Normally it's third made, mostly, uh, but of course it can be very in different companies, but let's think that this is third made. So third made will show you everything on board uh, and it should happen in the first hours 
after you board the vessel. And a lot of things necessary to do before vessel sail. Of course, I understand that it's not really possible in the reality because, um, because of cargo operations, everybody busy, everybody running, so maybe they will not have time for, for you. But you need to understand that the really one, the first person who is needed, this one, this is you are. And you can actually, uh, you can actually try to push even the officer who is responsible for that one that you need to get finalization. It's really important. <clears throat> the next step is to check your job description. And as you understand, in different companies could be different job description for same position. Yeah, somewhere second mate responsible for navigation. In other company, it could be third mate as well. Uh, safety officer could be chief officer, second mate or third mate, whatever, yeah. And you really need uh, to check this one to not have surprise after a few months on board yet yeah, that you are safety officer. I even saw such situation when the guy worked for two months already. Yeah, I believe he was two months on board. He was a sort mate. And after these two months, he realized that not chief officer responsible like in his previous company for the safety and he's helping to chief officer just to maintain the thing. No, he was fully the one responsible safety officer on board and uh, actually chief has no anything with in that moment with the safety. Yeah. But for him it was a surprise. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Anyway, he still maintained the safety equipment, firefighting equipment, but he didn't know that this is really 100% uh, his responsibility and he's not sharing this one with anybody. Uh, so <clears throat> the next step, of course, is bridge familiarization. You should know your equipment. Uh, you better if you will ask somebody from the offices uh, who is already a long time on board, yeah, at least a few months, few weeks. Uh, that he will show you, he will guide you on the bridge, he will show you such simple things, you know, like uh, buttons to stop alarm. Uh, because if it will happen on your evening watch and everybody will take rest and you really will, don't know what to do with this alarm on some, I don't know, in Marsat C, whatever, and it will be necessary to call somebody on the bridge to help you with such small thing, it will be funny, really. Uh, and of course, the people will start seeing that something wrong with you, yeah, first of all. That's why familiarize yourself and try to educate yourself what is going on, how to work with the equipment. If you don't understand some something, ask, always ask. It's better ask and ask stupid questions, even sometimes you feel that it's a stupid question, but uh, it's much more better to do in advance such things then call somebody evening or even night time to stop alarm. <clears throat> That's why when you already board the vessel, it's really important that uh, you ask such small things in advance, just to do not disturb other people when, when you already are here. So, yeah. In some companies, <clears throat> it's also uh, possible to find the bridge finalization checklist uh, it's specially designed for on signers here yeah, for the navigators who first time in the company or first time on board of the vessel. And you will see over there the something like right now on your video, the alarms, the bridge lights, uh, how to switch on so on, communication facilities, uh, direction finder, air health sounder and so on so on so on. All equipment and actually with such checklist it's necessary to call uh, to, to make this one to with the officer who is already a long time on board I mean minimum two weeks and he can help you he can supervise you and explain everything according to this checklist it's actually quite useful things uh, useful thing and I'm not sure that you will find this one in all companies uh, but even for yourself, you can make some notes, yeah, 
about equipment, about things what necessary to ask before, in advance, before you join the vessel. And already on board, according to your notes, asking, uh, start asking these questions. And of course, the company policies, especially as I said, when you change the company, when you join new vessel uh, after a vacation year, just open one more time safety management system of the company and check out what is going on over there. Maybe something changed. Of course, change drug alcohol policy, garbage policy, internet policy, and so on. I mean, what can be into drug and alcohol policy? Uh, you know, it's quite a tricky question because uh, if you're a watchkeeper as a navigator, um, it's very difficult to find the time when you really can consume the alcohol and it's necessary to read out in the policy. Sometimes they write in that you can consume alcohol, uh, for example, four or five hours before your watch and it's only one beer, uh, really. And some guys don't pay attention to that one, they see only one beer. So they think they can drink this one beer 20 minutes before watch and it will be normal for the company. But of course not. Uh, and check out such small things here. Yeah. If you even not alcohol free on board, I mean, you can, you can uh, buy this one. Uh, you can buy the beer, you can buy, buy some strong alcohol. Check out, familiar yourself with the company policy, what they want from you, how to deal with these things. And about drugs, I believe everybody knows that it's prohibited 100%, you will not find a place or company or vessel where <laughs> it's allowed, yeah. So here, no questions. Garbage policy, uh, so it could be just a more strict than Marco Annex 5, yeah. Uh, mostly it's more or less same, but just a little bit more strict than Marco or even same information. Uh, internet policy or in some companies you can find the name media policy, social media policy. Uh, these two things, it's more about your pictures on the Facebook, Instagram and so on and so on. Yeah. Uh, read out actually also what company wants from you, what you can post, what you can't post. Uh, because in some places you will find such things like prohibited to post any pictures from board of the vessel of the company. And it's not just a joke or or just just a policy yeah, without any responsibility. No, I really mm, know one situation when the guy he, he posts pictures with the logo of the company on board of the vessel and actually, okay, they didn't send him home, he continued working, but uh, he knew a few guys from the office and actually somehow this guy saw him in the Instagram and after that one uh, the company sent official letter that such crew member, blah blah blah, we don't say what is his name yet. Yeah. Uh, he's break the policy and it's necessary to or delete this one or he will just go home next port. So, of course, he delete everything and he continue working, but the situation was really not uh, not so nice, right? And I believe for the first video it's enough. Next time we will talk about the watch keeping navigation. It will be quite really big video i even think maybe it will be necessary to make three or two because listen myself for one hour one half hour it will be too much for you guys